How do? Hey all. Um, this is, right, it's approximately 9.50 in the morning and we're at RAF uh, Cosford for the uh, Aviation Museum. He came to mine at 8 o'clock, quarter past 8. And yeah. it's taken us this long to get here and it's shut. It's, but it will be opening it, in 10 it minutes. It will be opening in 10 minutes, but it means we... I mean, okay, the weather's alright, so I suppose I can't complain about that. But yes, this is the um, A&J Adventure as promised. We're here at Cosford. <laughs> which is an RAF base as well as a museum and um, a friend of mine has just said what do you think is most likely the million planes or a million views and after today we're that much closer to a million planes so we'll see yeah and he has assured me he does have South African aircraft in his little arsenal but they're all painted up in like RAF colours instead so <laughs> Hang on a minute, something's gone wrong here. This is the Avro Lincoln, which was uh, a heavy bomber replacement for the Lancaster. And basically all they did with it was stretch the wings, give it more powerful engines and give it slightly better cannons. And it was used in the Mau Mau in Vetlo, sort of incursion in Kenya. And that was it. It dropped some bombs and that was it. It was at a time when uh, heavy bombers were becoming completely redundant and before they switched to the V-bombers. And then this was developed into the Shackleton, which they haven't got an example here. This is a Shackleton. Right, behind me here is a Ohaka. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it because obviously it's Japanese. Perhaps I should just shout at it like work then. Basically it's a suicide attack aircraft, quite a terrible thing really, it's a flying bomb with a rocket engine. And the whole point is that you would be welded into the cockpit and then you'd be sent screaming off to blow up some American warships. These were perhaps one of the most ineffective ways that the Imperial Japanese Air Force tried to combat the United States Navy. And it's utterly ridiculous. Yeah. Somehow they managed to capture one intact, that's the, that's the most interesting thing. You'd think with flying bombs there wouldn't be many left, but no. They managed to find one. And why does it have a gun sight? Uh, if, if you're no. aiming at a ship, why would you need a gun sight? Oh, well, I said, this is a jolly fine aeroplane. This is a Hawker Hurricane, which was a uh, fighter for the RAF, which was built in about 1937. This particular example was one of the later marks with a better Merlin engine, and it was used to beat the hell out of the bloody Nazis. What? Really? Where? 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 Oh, right, there, I see. Not meant to see this, but out there in that hangar are the up-and-coming projects that will be in Cosford later, either this year, next year, or whenever they finish. This is a Mark I Spitfire. It is the oldest Spitfire in existence, as far as I know. Here it is. This is the Centurion tank used by the British Army. By the time it was retired in 1991, it's gone from, through some 14 different marks, improvements and alterations. It is easily the most successful battle tank that has ever been made. It was used extensively during the Arab-Israeli wars, mostly by the Israeli Army, as well as by the British Army, right up until 1991, when armoured ve recovery vehicles, still based on the Centurion chassis, were still in use. Undercarriage! This is a launch rail for an A9 Sidewinder. Um, it's got four pylons. This is actually an F111F. And under here, I'll show you. Under there is a massively gaping hole where the uh, pave tank pod, which was only ever fitted to the F111Fs, should be. It was basically a laser designated sort of target tracking thing. Um, yeah, it, was sort of, it would be fitted into here and it would then have a sight on the end of it. What do you say to that? <laughs> Extreme Hunter! <laughs> Merv, meet Merv. This is the biggest Valiant. It is the only one left in the UK. In fact, it's the only complete one in existence. And above it, Canberra. 
Whilst I've managed to find ourselves another tank, in fact there's quite a few down here on the ground floor. This is the Scorpion. Um, it's a light tank and the British Army is actually one of the last armies in the world to still utilise actual dedicated light tanks for reconnaissance and light fire missions. The whole point of this is basically reconnaissance and this one was used by the RAF regiment. It's a small tank only sporting a 30mm gun. Filming this bit because um, I'm just going to bug my friend to translate it. I roughly know what it is, but I'm just going to do it anyway. The BMP is one of the first infantry fighting vehicles on the planet, and it came from the problems of the lack of armoured personnel carriers for the Soviets during the Second World War. This example is a Czech Czechoslovakian Republic example, and it's actually in quite good condition. And go! Dominic. Oh. Neptune. Short SB5. English Electric P1. This here is how the pilot sits in this aircraft here. And I, I'm sorry, but that just looks like BDSM equipment right there. There's no other description for it. Don't start the engine. <laughs> just Two superpowers emerge from the terrible destruction of the Second World War. The United States of America and the Soviet Union, the USSR. This is a sleeping James May made entirely of plastic. And that really is the one-to-one -one Airfix Spitfire that they did for the television. It feels really cool to be stood near it. No, it isn't. Yes, it is, Adam. Don't yeah. argue. This is a Sikorsky H5 Dragonfly, as seen in the film The Bridges at Toko Ri. Which we reviewed! Yes, we And once again, we apologise to Mick Rooney for not being dead. Yeah, we can't go past that point, otherwise we will die. <laughs> this is a Hawker Signet, and this is one of only two that were ever built. This is the only surviving example, and this man here, right here, the expert in aviation, thought that it was a replica. But as we can see right here, there is the full history from when it was built in 1924, right through to when it was moved here in 1972 for display. What do you have to say to that? God, I'm an arsehole sometimes. Yes, but so am I. That's why I recorded it. <laughs> Talk really fast, Adam. Oh my god, 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 oh my